Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another very famous question. Uh, the question is happy number and before diving into the question, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we are going to solve our lot of interview questions and I think that can definitely help you with your interview. So let's see what question says. So question says write an algorithm to determine if a number is a happy number. So like first of all, uh, let's see what's a happy number. So like suppose. Uh, you are given with 19 so what we will gonna do we will gonna split it into 1 and 9 then we will gonna take square of 1 and add it with the square of 9 that is 82 then again we will do split 82 into 8 and 2 and we will take square of 8 and square of 2 and we will add both of them that is 68 then again we will repeat this thing split 68 into 6 and 8 take the square of 6 and take the square of 8 that is 100 and then again we will gonna split it into 1 0 0 and 0 and we will take square of 1 0 and 0 that is equal to 1 if after re re repeating these cycles if we came to 1 then the number is happy number if we unable to achieve this thing then the happy number is not a happy number so uh, there are few examples of not happy number like 4 like I will not spend time in showing that thing but you can definitely try with 4 uh, when you do with 4 after few time you will again come end up with 4 and this is how the cycle will keep moving and moving and you will never gonna reach to 1 so in those cases the number is not a happy number so from there also like we get one thing uh, if if a number comes again then the number is not a happy number so this thing we need to keep in our mind so uh, we can divide this uh, problem in two part like one part is like dividing this uh, writing this thing writing code for this particular thing and another checking if the cycle is repeating or not and if it's ending with one or not so let's see what we can do so first of all like i would say like please uh, focus on this concept because this is a mathematical concept and there are a lot of questions like around like i have sold around seven eight questions on this very particular concept so this can be used in a lot of things reversing a number splitting a number this is exactly this process how we are splitting this number like this how we are splitting 19 into 1 and 9 so let's see so suppose we are given with 19 there it's a it's again a two step process one two so what we're gonna do first first we will gonna take the modulus of 19 by 10 and then we will divide 19 by 10 so what will it give us when we take modulus of 19 by 10 it will give us 9 and we divide 19 by 1 it will give us 1 it will give us 1 so and then we need to add them but what is the exact process and what is the code for this let's write down so what we can take we can make a function square sum and it will take number so and we can take a result for now give it zero while number is greater than 0 what we will gonna do we will take the modulus and let's say we have a variable r and num modulus 10 so if we take the example of 19 19 modulus 10 equal to 9 so r equal to 9 and so what will be the result 
we are doing result equal to result plus initially result was zero and we are what we are doing r into r so we are squaring of nine so then again what is the second step first was to take modulus second was to divide so now we will divide num equal to num divide by 10 and at the end we will return result return result so what will what will this give us if you have given with 19 it will return us with 82 so but this is only the first part because see here is 82 we need to repeat this again and again and again until we don't get one but for that we this is a one function we will write another function but see we have seen that if if a number comes in a cycle that means it will never gonna be a happy number so for that what we can take we can take set because whenever we use the set the if the number comes again so it will only keep the one item so we can take give the name as scene to the set and while square sum this function square sum of n n is given number in question while square sum n not in sync suppose we start with 19 if the, is 19 in the set no then what we will gonna do we will gonna take the sum 1 equal to square sum of n and if sum 1 equal to equal to 1 what we will gonna do we will simply say true that is the number is happy number but if if it not come once like suppose after first cycle it's come 82 it's not one what we will gonna do we will gonna add this particular number to the offset and we will gonna set n to like means we will put the value of n equal to this sum so that we can repeat this process again and again and again so like if if this if it is true what does that mean if a number is not a happy number that means the number is a non happy number or a not happy number so at the end we will return false i hope the concept is clear uh, see like please try it by your own this particular section it's a very important section and it's not uh, just a concept of single question there are a lot of questions on this particular concept so let's code let's see how is our time complexity and how fast is our code with the memory and the with the runtime so let's write the code first of all let's make the square sum function so it will take any given number and let's make as it that zero for now while num is greater than zero what we're gonna do r equal to num modulus 10 and result equal to result plus 
r into r and then we're going to divide by 10 and we will return result so this was the first part of like and what is the second part we will make a set as seen while question n which is a given number in the question note in scene someone equal to question n if someone equal to 1 we will simply return true else what we will gonna do else we will gonna add that number to our same set and n equal to someone and Yeah, the answer is correct and the, it's faster than 90% and memory usage is less than 80%. It's quite good. So I hope you enjoyed the session and please don't forget to subscribe and guys if you have any suggestion for us, uh, please leave us uh, in the comment section. Have a nice day. Uh,